Hi there, my name is Josette Smith, and today I'll be showing you how to make a sugar skull rock. Alrighty, so here is our final product of what we'll be making today. These are just rocks um, that I found in my front yard that I had painted with various colorful um, styles of painting and I will be showing you our materials so let me bring them out. So here are the rocks that we'll be um, using for today. They are still a little damp if you could tell. Um, I had just washed, washed them because they were covered in dirt. So now um, another material that we'll be using is spray paint. Um, I decided we can use either or colors. Um, those ones were black but I'm going to choose white and moss green today just so it would be easier to show um, how to prepare for them. And here is our puffy paint that will be used um, as thinner lines to help us make those little flowers and circles for our rocks for today. Um, if you could tell, I've used these quite a bit. Um, they're a little bit messy, but anything will do. They're very fun to use. Um, we'll also be using a Sharpie, a fine line Sharpie, and a tiny pencil. This will help us um, trace marks. But now we will be coating the paint or the rocks with paint. So I will be using the white paint first. Um, this one is um, very thin. So I took a couple coats of it. If you could tell, you'll be seeing that shortly. And don't forget to get the edges as well. Um, I put this paper out just so it would be easier to clean up. Won't leave any marks on the grass. Um, now we'll be going over the green rock. Any dark color um, will be great. I just decided to use green um, just for it to be a little bit more colorful. See, and this one covered a lot easier than the white, if you could see. Alrighty, and now we'll be preparing, preparing puff paints for the Sugar Skull Rock. So this is where the pencil and the Sharpie come into hand. And this is our final product of the spray paint. Came out very nice, if you could tell. Um, I would also wait probably like 25 minutes just for it to dry. So you won't uh, have any creases. But now we will be drawing the eyes of the Sugar Skull Rock. Um, it is very light with the pencil it's very easy to see the pencil on the white not so much on the d um, dark green um, but this helps too um, if we make any mistakes um, like if you could tell I made one eye bigger but I will be going back and making it the same size um, and you can't really tell because the pencil is so thin and it helps um, the puffy paint cover that up Alrighty, and then here is the green rock. I just decided to do it off camera of um, drawing the Sharpie. And if you could tell, it's a lot easier to see. And now we'll be painting the rocks with our puffy paint. So these are the final products of our um, pencil and Sharpie. Um, and you want to make your sugar skull as bright as possible, just like they would want um, as a normal sugar rock um, celebrated by the Day of the Dead. So I decided to use this um, pretty teal color as for the eyes. Um, it is a little liquidy when you push it out, so just be a little careful um, so you just don't get it everywhere. And then if you see, I pick an orange color because I'll be using that for a different part of the rock and I'll be using that for the inside of the eyes. Okay, and then I'm going to be doing the rest of the colors off camera. Alrighty, so after 10 minutes or so, um, these will be your final products of your white and your green sugar school. Um, this is very fun and if you could tell, very colorful. I used a lot of greens, pinks, and oranges just to bring out that um, brightness. 
see. Alrighty, so this is how you make a sugar school. Alrighty, thank you for watching my video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye-bye.